It's day number 77 of our 150 day Jesus journey. Today we look at the service of the 70. So stay tuned. So yesterday we looked at the intimacy that the great shepherd has with his sheep. Jesus, our great shepherd, knows his sheep. We know his voice. His sheep follow him and he lovingly leads them to pasture. Each of us truly has a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. Today our Lord saturates Judea and Perea and all the other cities as he's en route to Jerusalem with his kingdom message. Our Lord saturates the area by sending out 70 of his followers to preach the gospel in order to prep the area for his final stages of ministry. The commissioning of these 70 followers or disciples of Jesus is very similar to the commissioning of the 12 that we experienced earlier in our journey. The major difference being that the 12 apostles were restricted mainly to uh, Galilee and to only Jewish hearers. But the 70 that Jesus is sending out today minister primarily in the area of the south and reaches all people. They're to preach to the Jews and the Gentiles the kingdom message. So today we're in Luke chapter 10. Make sure you listen to these 24 verses. And as always, once you're done, don't forget to read my notes in the description down below. After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves, carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not go from house to house, Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you and heal the sick there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, the very dust of your city which clings to us, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you that it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven will be brought down to Hades. He who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. Then the seventy returned with joy. Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight, all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear. 
and I'm not hurt it. 